Hey guys, I wanted to start off this video apologizing for the two month hiatus I've had on this series. Um, I just kind of took a break from The Sims for a little bit on the channel, that's why my past like five or so videos are non-Sims related, but now I want to get back into it and I really just want to finish up the series so we can start some new stuff on the channel. Uh, so yeah, that's my quick little disclaimer. Uh, now let's get on into this part of the speed furnish. Thanks for your patience. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to part number five of my Spring Hill Suite Speed Furnish. Yes, I finally got the name down. <laughs> I don't really know why I even called it the Spring Hill Suite. That was just like the first thing that came to mind, so... You know, I just went with it. It's a house. Not that big of a deal. <laughs> Anyways, today we are working on the final two bedrooms, uh, the master bedroom and the nursery. Now the sim that's actually in the nursery is uh, actually all like grown up now, not all grown up, she's a child, but you know, um, so she has a, um, the nursery is not the same. So when I do like the, the last part of the series, the house tour, her room will be different because she, she, she grew up and she can't fit in a crib anymore. Anyways, <laughs> this is completely irrelevant. Uh, we are first working on the master bedroom, and the sim that is like that that I made this bedroom for. She's definitely a um, an alpha female, <laughs> to say the least. She um, kind of thinks she's all that in a bag of chips, and um, she she kind of thinks she runs the house. So she got a really fabulous looking bedroom. The theme was very like deep purples and black and white, and very just like diva esque. Uh, I use a lot of royal colors and royal tones in this in this room. Yeah. Also, red was another color that came up quite frequently. Um, but yeah, that's a theme I kind of went for this first bedroom here, and I really do like the bedroom. I mean, personally, I probably would not live in here, but it's nice. You know, it's nice. Uh, the bed I used, I believe, was from Island Paradise. I, I think that that's what that's what it is. Um, but yeah, that's the bed I used. The end tables, I think, were base game. And um, the, the miscellaneous decor, I think, was like custom content and some base game stuff merged in there as well. Uh, now I'm actually building on a little closet extension in this room. Uh, this is, I feel like that would be something the sim would have. She kind of has that just personality, you know, she has a, her own walk-in closet in her huge master bedroom, and I feel like that's just really, it's just her. <laughs> I, I will be doing a video on the sims, hopefully, sometime soon. Um, yeah, I don't want to give away too much yet, because I don't know if, if I'm actually going to make the video, but I, I think I am. If, it, if everything works out, I will upload it, but if it doesn't, then... Oh well. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just uh, furnishing the closet here, and it, it was really nice. I really like that idea. I've never did a closet in a, in a house before. I definitely do want to do more speed builds, just because I want to get better at building, because I kind of suck, but <laughs> um, you know, practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. Um, so yeah, what am I doing now? I'm just pl plopping in a little rug there, a little pink polka dot rug and uh, recoloring things. Yep, that's what that's what you're doing. <laughs> Anyways, how has your guys's summer been? Or winter? I don't know where you all live, but you know, if you're in the southern, southern hemisphere, you'd be in winter, and, you're, and if you're in the northern hemisphere, you'll be in summer. That, I don't know why that was so difficult to say, but <laughs> um, yeah, fun fact, the day I'm filming this is July 1st. Independence and independent. Okay, talking is just not working today. Uh, but in Independence Day is just right around the corner. And it's supposed to rain, which kind of sucks. Uh, but, you know, the weather people are always wrong. Like, I don't know if this. <laughs> I don't know if this, like, you guys have ever noticed this, but whenever the weather people say, like, oh, yeah, it'll be, like, a high chance of rain, like, it never rains, or it rains for, like, five seconds and then stops, but then it's like, oh, yeah, it's gonna be really storming today, like, it doesn't rain, like, what? <laughs> who, who, who did this? Like, who, what? <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. They, they just need to step up their game, um, the weather people. 
Okay, anyways, this is really irrelevant. This commentary, okay, I, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that little section that I just finished over there while I was talking about, you know, weathermen and weather <laughs> um, makes me sound like a really enthusing life. I have a really enthusing life. But the little area that we just finished furnishing was I just put down like a simple coffee table and a lamp and a, and a, and a rug. It took me way too long to put down like three things. Uh, but yeah, now we're just working on a putting another rug in. It took me a really long time to figure out this rug. I probably should have cut this out. And then it takes me a really long time to find a couch. <laughs> so I probably should have cut this out. But I think that's what I end up going with, actually. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, that actually didn't take too, too long. And then I put this tried to put this tiny ottoman at the end of the bed, but it looks so puny. Like, I was like, okay, that's not working. So I just got rid of it. And then I put in this red chair. I recolored it to red. I don't know what color it is now. Oh yeah, it's yellow. But I, I recolored it to red. I think I actually ended up deleting it because it like kept getting in the way of gameplay. <laughs> I mean, it looks. I think it looks good like to take up space, but it kept getting in the way for whenever I, when I was actually playing the household. So I think I deleted it, but you know, <laughs> it was there originally. We just moved on to the nursery. Uh, this was a very fun room to decorate. I never decorate nurseries, or like when I do, it's like really like a teeny space, and you know, it's usually like a something really basic. Like, here's your crib, here's your toy. Good, have fun, good luck. Uh, no, but um, th this sim, the the toddler that I originally created this bedroom for she was she's the daughter of the sim i created the master bedroom for it's kind of confusing if you guys don't know like who i'm talking about like the sims oh i got a skype message <laughs> uh but yeah uh, she's the daughter of that sim so i kind of sort of tried to go off like a similar vibe like that the sim in the master bedroom would kind of spoil her daughter you know that that, that sort of thing so, uh, yeah, that's why she has a really, like, intense, really, really great room that probably every five-year-old, three-year-old, four-year-old would love. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. What do you say about a nursery? Like, it's a nursery. I mean, okay, the theme I went for this was a very, like, uh, butterfly, um, pastel, purple, uh, white, oh, white and pastel but you know like a pastel purple pastel yellow pastel pink um i don't know just very just just very like pastel colors and then i also incorporated a lot of butterfly wall decals and you see that butterfly rug there as well and you know i just kind of went with that color theme of the purples the pinks and the oranges and the yellows and then we also i think we have a few hints of like um a few hints of like greens intertwined so yeah that's that's the main theme i was going for with this room uh we're about to actually wrap up now i'm just de decaling the walls here and uh now here are the pictures i hope you all enjoyed this part of the speed furnish let me know what y'all think in the comments down below and leave me a like if you enjoyed and we i will see you guys in my next video bye everyone <laughs>